What's up guys, hope all is well. Enrique here with another video on probably one of the best machines of all time. And my personal favorite, the MPC 4000. Man, this thing's a whale. Let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm um, trying to make this as simple as possible. We all know very well that the MPC 4000 is incredibly deep and has so many different ways to get to that one destination you want to get to. So the simplest way to explain how to sample and then chop up your sample on the MPC, I think this is the best way to explain it. So I have uh, an app right here. It's called the Launchpad app. It just has some loops on there. And the only reason I'm using that is just because there's uh, it's free and... Uh, there's a bunch of random loops on there, royalty free and whatnot. So for demonstration purposes, I figured why not just plug my phone in into the back using an eighth to quarter inch on the back stereo, of course. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is find a sample. After you find a sample, you're going to go and hit record. So right here, it's going to bring you to this screen. You got a couple options here, analog in main out what basically what your input source is where i want to sample from i want to sample from the air the analog in in stereo 16 bit is fine for me i like to leave monitoring on just so i can actually hear it when it's when it's recording and auto normalize is really good because it'll make your sample as loud as it needs to be to match pretty much uh line level or the rest of your song so in a lot of cases i always have this on but for right now i'm going to turn it off um and another important thing, time. Right now, it's set to 10 seconds. Depending on your sample length, you can set this you know, pretty high up in range if you really wanted to, but I'm gonna leave mine to 20 seconds. So two zero, hit enter. Threshold, basically this is a record start threshold showing you, um, if I move this, you'll see these black dots here moving. That's showing you basically nothing's gonna start recording unless it gets louder than this sound. Negative 48 is a good place to start. So with all that being said, um, we got monitoring on, we got our, our time set and our threshold, which is usually set pretty good. And you can turn auto normalize on or off depending on your style. We wanna make sure we're recording from the correct area, input source, analog in. And it also shows us how much time we have left to record. All right, so now that we got all our things set up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And you can see that this is waiting for input signal. And that's because it's waiting for something to pass that threshold. I got my loop right here, ready to go on the Launchpad app. I'm gonna just press play on it and you'll see that it's gonna start recording. Check this. Boom, recording. And now I'm gonna play a little bit on top. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. You don't have to wait until the full 20 seconds is up. Now you can edit the name after you've hit stop. You can do a couple things like uh, retry, play it, so we can play it back if we wanted. Cool. Uh, add to program or keep. So I'm going to change the sample from sample one to just sample. So to do that, with the um, the name kind of highlighted with that little black square, you move the cursor wheel, and then it'll bring up actual options to change the name. I'm going to hold down shift and back to just delete that. Hit enter, and just hit keep. Now you can see that it's still playing back. I'm gonna go ahead and hit main, just cause it had monitoring on. So now we're out of that screen. I can go ahead and stop my loop. Cool. So from here, what we're gonna do, you're gonna hit the sample button right here. And that's gonna bring up your sample list. Of course, if you got a bunch of drums and stuff already in here, it'll all pop up there. But in this case, we only got the sample up. You can select it using the, the little jog wheel again. Hit trim and it'll bring up your sample that you just sampled in. And here we can play it. Right? And you got a couple options down here. Play all is my favorite, because when you hit play all, it's gonna bring up a start and end for your loop. So I'm gonna press this and then set the start point and then set the end point. So watch. So you says start and end. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and I think I start right here. Start. And, and, cool, and then play stop. So here you can see that added two lines. Those are now our start and end points. If 
we hit shift and up on the block cursor, you'll see the bottom part is representing what we're currently on or highlighted. So if I go down to the start point, this is now affecting the start point. If I move it to the right, you'll see that the waveform starts moving. So this is just to help edit kind of what, what I want to do. So I want to start it right on the beginning and you can test that playing this. Cool. And then the end point, the end point's a little different because you're going to have to play the whole loop through, but where the MPC is cool is that it has play loop, play to, play from, and play. So I'm going to use play from to listen to see if it starts at the point that I want to cut off. I hope that makes sense. Basically, I want it land on that last kick that I was close to. If you want this to move a little quicker too, when you have end or start highlighted, hold down shift and left to then select a bigger chunk of time to move a little faster. It's nice that it lets you get really precise, but sometimes it takes too long to spin over to one side. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, make sure I'm right on there. Cool, looks good to me. Next thing we're gonna do, what we've just done actually, is selected the section of the sample that we want that we want to uh, keep. So if you hit edit, you got a couple options, right? Under edit. The very first one is discard, and the section is trim. So what this is gonna do, it's, it's, is it's going to cut off the start and the end of uh, the part we just selected. So basically, we said start here, end here, delete the rest. So I'm gonna hit do it. So it's processing it. And now you got a couple options down here. A lot of people like to rename it and hit keep. Me personally, I'm just, I don't know, I like to move quick, so I just hit overwrite. So overwrite is going to overwrite the sample that we originally recorded for this new sample. So you can see here in the top left, the name is still just sample. So now if we press play, starts where we started it, and you'll see that it ends where we ended it. Done, right? So this is where it gets important. So now that we've gotten our sample with the start and end point correctly set, what the next step is to hit region, F3. So we hit F3, it takes us to the region page. So here in the region, you also got a region start and end, and that's going to reflect the trim or the loop page start and end. So if we weren't to discard or cut off the ends as we did, you can still chop up between two sections and save the rest of your sample. But for time's sake and me coming from the MPC 60, I like to chop up, chop off what I don't need and use what I can. So in region, you're gonna go down to where it says region. And what this is saying is if we hit window, refer to what so we're referring to trimming this into different regions how many regions I want to do 16 to go across the pad one thing you'll notice is as I sampled and I set the start and end points I kind of counted how I wanted to play the sample back and I counted to 16 so I know I want to set this to 16 so moving the jog wheel you can change it or you can just hit 1 6 enter and then pressing do it will reset start and end points for each region. So check this, boom. So now you can see that it says region one. So that means we can just play region one. But another thing to know is you might hit some of these pads down here and notice that your full sample is still playing. That's what these are doing. We need to pay attention to this text up in the top right of these pads. There's play, play from, play to, and play loop. So I just wanna play. I just wanna play this one region. Sounds good to me. Go to play region two. And if you want, you can shift and zoom out of each region, right? And see where it starts and ends. And you can even edit it more by going to the region start or the region end. But I'm gonna just, for time's sake, keep this going. You can see that it landed pretty spot on because I counted how many regions I wanted to start and end on, right? So cool. The next important thing that we want to do is get this into our program so we can actually play it on the pads within a song. So if I hit edit, we go up to edit. What are we editing, right? Sample edit. What do we want to edit? Go all the way to the end and then one back. You're going to see slice sample. So now that we got our regions, we can slice that as a sample across the pads. And now we can do create a new program. So remember how I said we didn't want to create a program when we first got the sample? The reason is because of this. So here, I'm going to switch this to yes. Yes, I do want to create a new program. And then I'm going to hit do it. 
and it's going to create a new program and put down the samples in the correct squares for me. You could generate a sequence, but I personally don't just because that's going to play back the sample that you made with all the cuts and stuff for you when I like to kind of get a little freaky with it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit do it. It's processing. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, it's done. So if we hit main and go back to the main screen, track one, unused, right? Part one, program one. If we spin the jog wheel, we can now select our program called sample, which is that drum loop that we have. You hit select. It's now changed. If we hit pad assign, you can see down below sample one, sample two, sample three, sample four. So it chopped it up into the 16 for us. So if I hit main again, So now you've chopped your sample. Because the MPC is so deep and goes so far in, if there's any questions or comments or a video that you would like to see on the MPC 4000, leave them down in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. So. As always, share the love, share the knowledge, knowledge is power, peace.